Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. So I'm going to make another multi-part video on fixing up this 2012 GTV 300 and bring it up to a level that I could represent to sell through our shop. So this is a used unit that was traded in. It's got over 22,000 miles on the clock um, and it's just been put away dirty all its life. I could just tell. Everything's dirty on it. The chrome, you know, it doesn't have heavy rust, but there's definitely, it needs a lot of elbow grease essentially. So it's gonna be a combination of going through the scooter with just basic inexpensive techniques to clean it up. And a couple pieces that we're gonna purchase for it, like this leg shield trim that's got a chunk missing from it. We're gonna touch up several of the scratches uh, I'm going to get a professional in here to pop that little dent out and we'll be able to touch this up and make it look fairly nice. We'll polish up the paint. Fortunately, the original leather seat that was found on these GTVs is in fairly nice condition. It does have some uh, abrasion on the stitching, but in my opinion, you know, there's nothing cracked all the way through. Having a well-worn leather seat, that kind of adds to the look of a used scooter you know it's kind of like the patina if you're working with a vintage scooter a lot of times you want to leave some of the old stuff uh, somebody's converted this rack where it just stays down the front one it just flops all around so it needs some uh, TLC with this the spring uh, looked underneath the seat we put our next service uh, sticker last time I was in for service was at 18,000 miles it got a new dry belt the next service was at 21,000 miles, which is a basic oil change. It's a little overdue for that, but I kind of want to do the major service on it. So I'm going to do the full 24,000 mile service on the scooter, which is about, um, I think that's about the 50,000 kilometer. If you're, uh, it's just the most major service you could do on the scooter, bring it completely up to service, take the rims off, clean them all up. Everything that's chrome, pretty certain it will come out to be looking in like new condition. Change all the fluids and somebody's gonna have a wonderful older Vespa that still has plenty of life on it, can motor along on the freeway and still, you know, at least get 50,000 miles out of these without any problems. So the scooter starts up fine. There's no check engine light when it's running. All the lights are working on the dash. That's a good thing. But when you start it, there's two things about it that don't sound so hot. So I hear two noises. The exhaust note is the exhaust note is a little bit loud, and that's typically the graphite bushing is blown out. Or there's a possibility the header has a crack in it. And there's also a bearing whirring noise. And I pinpointed where that noise is originating from, and it's from the, the bearings in the water pump. You can kind of hear a metallic whirring noise. Probably doesn't come through as well with uh, the microphone that I'm wearing, but we're gonna pull the water pump off and overhaul the water pump and that bearing noise should disappear. So look for the up and coming video series of fixing up the scooter. Probably be about three parts, similar to the arrangement that I did on that kind of rose colored ET4 about three months ago. Thanks again for watching. It's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.